Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 22 with Kings Lynn. And where we left off was not long ago, really, at all. Only a game uh, in between last video and this video. That game was 2 2 draw with Maidstone. I hate playing Maidstone, they just seem to have our number. So uh, we got uh, a 2 2 draw with them, a 90th minute goal from Catton uh, to get us that draw. We overall didn't play a very strong team, so I'm pleased with how we played. We've got Graham and Neil getting really good um, uh, ratings. We've got Ingram Friends as well, we're playing quite well. So the backup players did a good job. Unfortunately, in that game, Aduro got injured for, I think he's expected back, five to nine days, which means he will miss the Luton game, which is our next game after Eastley. Um, for the Eastley game, we are going with the same squad that we played for um, the Maidstone because I don't want to run my players into the ground. The only player I will be playing, uh, which will probably play um, next uh, in the uh, Luton game, is Scully. I think, but he might even go on the bench. Our defence is definitely the weakest backup we have, but um, we will be using. Uh, uh, using these guys against Eastleigh, and I'm hoping we're going to be able to come away with a result. Just quickly checking, actually, at our visions. Reached the third round minimum, and this is the third round. So we've, if, no, fourth round. Wait. So wait, does that mean we need to get through to, no, we've got, we got past the third round. We're in the fourth round. So if we do go out of the FA Trophy at this point, it's not, the end of the world we still I mean this is a team we should be able to beat so we're going to jump in and hope that we can get a good result we've got a few good players Swabby, Scully like are definitely um, threats Ingram Friend, Graham Neal all had good games last game so I'm hoping they're going to be able to keep that going um, and yeah we'll just have to wait and see what we can do okay so let's jump into the game um, oh man Nick Neal is going to take the armband today that's how confused by the, the tactical approach is too attacking um yeah let's just go attacking come on boys we want to get some goals maybe i'm too attacking maybe that's the problem maybe i need to be a bit more reserved with my with my um tactics and try and get a better defense because i i did that at um b1908 i definitely built up my defense more than i did uh our up front but the problem was we were never scoring um, maybe I've gone too far the other way. So Eastley are on the attack now. This might be why they're confused by how attacking we are. They look very dangerous and they have got themselves a goal two and a half minutes in. This is not how we expected it to go. But we have to go with the punches and hope that we can, uh, we can claw our way back into the game. We have to believe. Usman now with the ball. Plays it to Ingram Friend. Ingram Friend up to Swabby. And that's a poor pass, and it just rolls to their keeper, McDonnell. Long ball forward by McDonnell, luckily no one there. Graham gets it to Ingram Friend, to Gill. Over to Usman, with oodles of space, and he has a shot, and he gets a goal. Usman with his second goal of the season, superb stuff. Look at this. Gill with an absolutely dynamite pass across. Usman with a lot to do still. And he picks out that bottom corner and he gets it. So we're back on level terms, 1-1. One, one, and I'm feeling a bit more confident about the lads. We just have to keep this momentum going. Robinson to Gill, to Swabby. Over to Usman and he hits the crossbar. Usman has got something to prove today. He wants more game time, I think. Okay, free kick to Eastley. Headed down and in. Our keeper Roberts probably should have done something more on his near post there. But it was a good header by their player. And we're now down again 2-1 to see that. I mean, a defender should have also challenged more with the header. So disappointing to see that happen. They're here to play. Okay, Robinson with the ball to Swabby from a throw-in. Robinson to Ingram Friend. Over to Colson. Up to Usman. Usman, was he offside? Before I start celebrating that. Second goal of the game. He gets us back into this game with a superb finish. Second goal of the game, Usman is the show right now. Uh, we're going to skip that because we want to get back into the game. 
and it's half time 2-2 two, two. not as um, easy as we were expecting but we are starting to hold more of possession um, but we are having less of the shots so probably need to pick ourselves up um, uh, happy with your performance is that really what we want to say okay looks like they're all happy with that um, improve and I have faith in you uh, any changes that need to be made that's the question uh, Kika not so good everyone else is playing well I don't think I have a left back replacement so we're just gonna have to hope that Kika bucks his ears up and starts playing a little bit better um, this second half long ball forward which is just headed away by Eastley's defense and a good ball through to Hayes and he shoots but luckily it's a wild shot wide um, Roberts is not having the greatest of games today. I was hoping he would pick himself up and have a bit of a, a more of a stellar performance. Luckily, Kika was in charge there and got in the way of the shot and put it out for a corner, headed away by Neil. Still danger as um, Eastley are on the attack. Murray puts it in. Neil with a good header out and Gill should get there. He does and he plays it through to Ingram Friend, but nothing more comes from it. So, unfortunately, all, all we had on the bench is Ola Gunju to replace Nick Neal. So, he's going to have to come on. I didn't want to play him because I need him for the next game. But we do have to make some changes. So, it's going to have to be that way. And I think we're going to have to play uh, Matthew Jones as well, who I also wanted to save for the Luton game. But we need to make some changes. Otherwise, we'll be... Uh, falling behind me thinks and unfortunately Swabby because of the position you play we're going to have to take you off as well even though you're having a good game to put on Catton as a pressing forward and hopefully that will be enough to give us a little bit of an edge over them okay Robinson with the throw to Ingram Friend back to Kika to Jones to Kika to Olagunju Olagunju charging forward Usman we've got a very high line at the moment Usman on the on the right puts it in. Catton can't quite make it count. Tries to play it back. Nothing happening. So we go again from a throw. Okay, so dying minutes of the game. Eastley have a chance from a throw in, playing it around outside our box and inside our box. Long shot though, just over and we are off the highlight. Is it going to end two two? Oh my goodness! Ninety second minute. Robinson has the ball. If we can get away from doing a, oh no 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 I was going to say if we can get away from doing without doing a replay Robert saves it Oof. we don't want really want a replay because of our tired legs but uh, it looks like we might be going in that direction Roberts plays it to Graham Roberts back to Ingram friend to Catton Scully just isn't running for it McDonald hoofs it clear Olegunju heads it down and no one's really holding on to the ball at the moment. It's very backwards and forwards. Oh my goodness, Hayes nearly made it a win for Eastley there. And it's full time, 2-2. Two, two. Disappointing we couldn't get a win there. Um, apparently, we, even though they're a league below us, we were expected to lose that game. Bit confusing there. Usman had a great game for us. It means that we're going to have to play them again. Kika is out for a couple of days. Um, let's say well done to Usman and have a look when we're going to have to play them again. Oh my goodness, these these fixtures are coming thick and fast. And that is the third game in a row we have drawn 2-2. Two, two. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Um, but we're going to play Luton. I have a feeling that game might end this 2-2 two, two streak because they're going to definitely be coming out here wanting to absolutely thrash us. A very similar situation to last season, if you remember. We played Watford. Actually, we can even look. We played Watford in January. What out. We drew 2-2, two, two, and then they came back and beat us 3-3 three, three away from home. So, I'm having a feeling that this is going to be a repeat. But, who knows? Maybe we've learned from last year. We definitely have been getting better results with this congested fixtures so maybe just maybe we might be able to get a little something out of this game if we get on to the next round by the way they've drawn for the round after the fourth round is it and we would be playing Leicester or Walsall uh Walsall Walsall 
who are in League 2 or Premier League. If we played Leicester away from home, that would be insane. So I kind of want to see if we can get through, but we'll just have to wait and see. So we'll see you in a second when we get to the Luton game. Okay, so we're at the Luton game and we have come across a slight issue. Uh, it seems like that happens a lot at the moment, but uh, Ulom is our only fit, non-injured centre-back that we can play um, alongside Olegunju because we have no other person who can play him right back that I know of. Uh, Matty Jones, Junior Robinson's tired. I suppose what we could do, flip that and then put Junior Robinson on and hope that he just doesn't get too exhausted. Um, I mean, it's it's a risk doing that, I think. But it's probably worth taking because uh, old Ulam is not quite up to scratch, is he, in centre mid uh, position. Colson plays best as a deep line playmaker, so we'll play him as a deep line playmaker support. Matty Jones plays well as a central midfield defend so we'll put him in as there to go probably won't last the full match so we've got um heard as a good replacement for him do we have anyone else Bucca J can play in the center peter gill can play on the left do we have any right mids who can cover hurley can cover right mid so we're gonna have to Oh, who do I switch out? Probably Swabby, because Swabby only wants to play. I've had a problem with Swabby only wanting to play in his agreed position, uh, attacking midfield, uh, centre attacking mid. So when we're playing 4-4-2, which is, by the way, the formation I'm going for, um, we have troubles with uh, him not wanting to play in any other position. He like moans to his manager, and then they kick off. So I suppose I could bring on Kicker. He's not got the best fitness, but he can play attacking right no we don't want attacking right though do we i think that's probably the best we can do with what we've got we've got so we've got reese davies in goal robinson olegundry clayworth and clements in midfield in midfield in defense even robinson is not ideal but because of um aduro being out injured we have to play him uh Co Colonk, for goodness sake kogolo um congolo Colson, Matty Jones and Sago in midfield and then Ishola and Scully in uh, the attacking position with Catton on the bench as a kind of impact sub. I feel like he plays best in that role as an impact player. Um, we've got Hurd who played really well last game which we'll probably use as again an impact sub for tired legs. So yeah, I, I think we're going to have, we're playing positive, yeah, not attacking. We're going to have a difficult game, we're probably going to lose this one but I mean if we win... We get to play Leicester away, so that means we get to go up to a Premier League stadium. So, big stuff happening if we can. Uh, Charles Sago thinks we're going too attacking. I mean, if we sit back and defend, the problem is that they will just completely demolish us without us doing anything um, to stop them. If we can get a goal or two, then like like what we did last game, they got two, but we got two. So if we can outscore them, then potentially we've got a chance. Uh, we've got to do some tunnel uh, stuff. Um, bad luck has to end somewhere. I'm really hopeful it'll be today. Uh, first goal will be crucial. Uh, do you hope your team can produce today? We'll be fine. And actually, this uh, game has been put up for... TV and we're getting like 70 grand for it to be on TV so even if like we don't get through we're still getting quite a lot of cash for a non-league side um, which will make quite a lot of difference in the like later on in the season I feel um, they are definitely more positive though Luton they're just waiting for that break aren't they wanting to burst through and get a goal and I can feel like this is going to be a goal already. Four minutes in. Look at their passing. Over to McCallum. Into Mwamba. Oh, just wide. So we do live to fight another day. Okay, so they've got it still. It looks like I think it's going to be highlight after highlight of Luton. But they are playing it very comfortably. Well blocked by Colongo. Man, I've got to remember how to pronounce his name. Congolo. There you go, Congolo. 
um, but we just give it away further up the field and they're in again and a header just over and we're, we're hanging on. We are hanging on. Olagunju now with the free kick to Robinson. Plays it up to Gongolo and now he plays it to Colson, to Jones, to Scully, but Scully just stands there. Move to the ball, mate. Oh, it's frustrating and this is going to be a goal. Look at that for a finish. Absolutely brutal. And we are now behind 1-0 to Luton. Um, trying to think of anything I can do to try and improve the situation. And I think it's probably a bit early to go attacking. Um, for the lads, I think we probably wait until after half time and go out with a bit more um, sort of attacking mentality so that they, they, don't, they don't really expect it coming half time after half time. But until then, we do have to survive only on one goal down. Hopefully, they're not going to. We're not going to concede any more. But it looks like they are. They are eager to get some goals. They're uh, coming again. 44 minutes in. If we can keep it to one nil uh, before half time, we might have a chance to claw our way back into the game. And no, we can't because it's two nil now. Oh, it's been disallowed. They were offside. Thank goodness for that. Let's have a look at this. Must have been cl Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't even close at all. It was a mile offside. Okay. That, hopefully... Oh, okay. Ishola has the... Oh, why are we giving it away so easily? It's like we forget how to dribble. It's so frustrating in these games where you just... The players just... Oh, my goodness, Congolo, no. And then Sidmans... Sidmans puts it in the back of the net. We nearly gave away a penalty with a dangerous tackle. Oh, my goodness. This is... I, I knew it was going to be hard. I knew we probably didn't have much of a chance, but it's disappointing to watch um, uh, watch us fall apart so easily. So I'm just I'm going to have to do something with the tactics. We're going to go attacking. Who's not playing well? The strikers aren't doing too badly. Colson's playing badly. Let's bring on Hurd as an attacking advanced playmaker. Clements, Clayworth. Oh, Ola Gunju's having an awful game. Flipping heck. Well, the problem is Robinson is shattered. We can bring on Jones and then bring on... Who do I bring on? Sucker J as a Mazala support, maybe? And then... Oh, man. What do I do? Do I bring off Ola Gunju, who's having a really torrid game, but has is a better player on paper, or do I bring on Nick Neal to try and cover that? Um, I think he's, Oleg has got the ability to be to be better for the second half, so we're gonna give him a chance, and we don't wanna use all of our subs just in case there's injuries. So we're gonna start the second half and hope that we can do a little something now we're going more attacking. Okay, long ball forward, Scully, the six, eight man can't win a header. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on. This it's just going that way, isn't it? Olegunju goes the wrong side of his man, but luckily it goes wide. And unless we can score in the next ten minutes, we're out. We are uh, we need to start building on something to get get in there and get some goals. But just look at our ratings. Everyone's playing poorly. It's it's got, uh, they're another level, aren't they? They're a championship side. And there goes Olegunju should have got there. Yeah, he missed an inception. It should have been him to mop it up, and he didn't. He's going to have to come off, isn't he? He's having such a shocking game. And that's not going to help with getting him sold, is it? He, We want 200 grand for him, and people are watching this on TV thinking, I don't think that's going to happen. Ironically, if the score stays the same, it's almost a like-for-like -like carbon copy of last season when we played Watford. We drew 2-2, and then we lost 3-0 at home. Um... And I think from the looks of it, that's what it's going to be. It's almost like it's written in <laughs> in like in stone that we're going to do that in the FA Cup. I mean, we we're getting further than we like should be. Like we are doing really well in the FA Cup every year. But I mean, look at that. What was that? Like even a child playing in the park plays better football than that. And we can't for some reason just do a simple pass. It's just so annoying to watch. It's like football manager, it doesn't make the other team good. It makes your team bad. And it's so frustrating. Like there, 
what was that? Ishola is a good player. We've watched him play really good football all season. And then he does a pass straight to a defender. And now they're probably going to do something from this corner or whatever and score because we just give the ball away. And it's really annoying the way it works. But, I mean, what can you do? There's like there's nothing I could have done in this game to get us a win, I don't think. Like, look at, look at them ratings. Just shocking. I'm going to say I don't like what I saw from the team. Even though we, sh we should be expecting, like, to be beaten by them, you shouldn't give up before the game. Oh, what happened out there? Um, you know what? We didn't do all the things we were meant to do. Play, uh, play our football, and that, when that happens, it's hard to win. Why do you think it's your fault? Um, I'm the manager. It's always my fault if we don't win. Uh, Shola didn't seem to have any luck in front of goal. Uh, he has to pick himself up and make him in six time. He knows that. Um, I don't want to really like rag on him because it was a hard game. Um, I don't really know what to say. When the game's over. I just want to move on. Yeah, yeah, he played well. Who cares? I like these tunnel interviews. Who cares? Like I've just had the worst game that we've played in a very long time. Do I really want to talk to the press? For goodness sake, leave me alone. Um, I kind of wanted to click the storm out button there. So, okay, our run of poor form continues in... I mean, I don't know if I'd call it poor form. These are all games which we were going to struggle with. The 2-2 two -two against Maidstone. I mean, we've, we've had trouble being Maidstone as of late. Look at that. So um, we beat them in extra time. And then we also beat them uh, in the league. Was that this season? This season. But then we've lost quite a bit about from them and drawn with them. They just seem to be a really tough team to play for us. Um, and like now we've got that these out of the way. We have fixture congestion out of the butt. Like, I mean, my goodness, we've got so many games that we need to play. Um, I think we're probably, because we've done two games so close together, we're going to play uh, all of these games off, off um, being recorded, not being recorded. And we'll play Chesterfield and Grimsby the last two games of the season and we'll see where we are. I mean, I'm still quite positive. I think I might throw the FA Trophy. We don't need it. And I'm looking at this table. 29 games played for first place with 55 points. 27 games played with 50 points. If we can get those two games in hand as wins, we can go top of the league. And if we can keep our form as good as it has been. like I know we've had a lot of draws, but we've had a lot of wins as well. If we can keep that form going, I think we might be able to win the league if we really... Uh, like knuckle down and get on with this season trying to get some good performances not getting too many injuries obviously having to try and cope without uh, an important player in um, uh, where is he uh, Jack Young being sold off um, oh actually I don't think I showed this as well Lewis Foreman when a uh, young goalkeeper that we had they came in with an offer for 36 grand up front and 110 add-ons. And I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use him. He, he's he got good high potential, but nothing more than like my other def uh, goalkeepers I've got. Alfie Roberts actually has a like, smashing potential compared to him. Alfie Roberts is going to be something special in the future. Keith Rook, who's 18-year-old keeper that I brought in as well, is going to be quite special uh, in the future as well. So I was happy to see him go for a little bit of cash and money injection in the future. Um, I think we're probably going to have to look at bringing some more players in at some point, but um, with uh, renewing contracts and stuff for important players, we now only have £34 a week uh, positive on the wage budget, so it's going to be a struggle. So I think for this season, we keep we don't add any more players and we keep playing with the team we've got. We've got quite a lot of depth, as you saw. We managed to get... Um, a decent draw up against Eastley with our secondary team um, and we, we've got our first team who has been performing but again having an FA Cup run has absolutely ruined us in January I'm expecting these games to go quite poorly the Woking and Sutton game 
and then hopefully start picking ourselves up in February. But if you're looking at that, we have quite an, a round fixture as well. We've got two games in a week, then we've got a week's gap between, and then a game on the following Tuesday. A week's gap here, so we can rest up our players, and then close to, close game, and then another week's gap, and then another close game. It's it's not an easy fixture list in the National League, I'm not going to lie, but um, you know what, you do what you have to do to try and get a result, so I'm hoping this dip of form we can get out of quickly, build, like start climbing up that table, and even if we don't get... Um, Let's have a look at the table. Even if we don't get first place, I think second place is automatic promotion. So, I mean, if we aim for second place and just try and hold that position there, then I would be happy as well. So, um, let me know what you think in the comments. If there's anything that you think I should be um, like strengthening, any um, positions that I, I should be looking to bring people in. Um, I mean, it would have been nice to play Leicester away from home, but we, we got in a really good cup run in the FA Cup, not one which you're expecting. Uh, second year in a row that we've made it to the third round, um, which is a bit mad for a team of our, our size and is definitely why we're getting noticed a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully we're going to be able to pick ourselves up and we'll come back next video to see the last two games of the season. So remember to like, comment, subscribe and come back and see that and I will see you when I see you.